One of the recommendations that we made um, as part of the consultation process was to yeah, was develop this idea of a pattern of support around Adam. Um, yeah, so it was really to look at how Adam's life flowed. We sat down and, and spoke with people around, you know, exactly what entails a day in the life of Adam, basically, and, and you know, what, what makes his day flow, um, you know, what makes sense to him. Once we got the recommendation that we really needed to look at the patterns of support before we could move forward, we got together into a small subgroup made up of some of Adam's supporters and his close family and we basically just in detail mapped out when Adam needs support from paid, paid supporters. So it was looking at from basically 10 to 5 or 10 to 6 rather that's when he has paid support. So then looking at, well, who needs to then jump in in the mornings and the evenings? Can we rely on housemates for that? Do we need another family member to come in or can we increase the hours of the supporter? So it was, yeah, basically just going through Monday to Sunday, looking at every day, when does he have support? When does he need support? And who is going to be doing this? We also sort of identified the, ver the different support roles they were so there's family there's housemates there's paid support and then there's the support circle which is made up of family and friends so it was fitting all of those into adam's week and working out where they could all be placed one of the things that was critical at this point in terms of the process was that we weren't really thinking about the dollars involved in this what what was at the forefront of our minds was to ensure that adam's Adam's days flowed as naturally as possible rather than, um, you know, having artificial sort of timetables for his life. And it was also trying to map out the expectations that we can have of, of housemates, like are we prepared to ask them or is it reasonable for them to be helping out in, in the mornings and in the, or in the evenings? So I think we basically came to the conclusion that there would be some sort of roster system involved where they would have some mornings or evenings or some periods of time over the weekend where they would be asked to spend some time with Adam and to help him get ready in the morning um, before the supporter came. The way that we framed roles in this sort of pattern of support it was really inclusive in terms of, you know, what sort of a role does Karen and Ivan want to play in Adam's move into his own home? You know, do they want to play a big hands-on role or, you know, is there stuff that they just want to let go of and pass on to someone else in another role? Weekends, I think, were, were a bit tricky because Adam already has a pretty full um, week because he's with a supporter, like I said, 10 to 6 through the day, um, whereas weekends are a bit harder where he's normally with a supporter over the, uh, sorry, a family member over the weekend or from someone from the, from the support circle. So it was trying to work out if we could expand the, those periods of time that his family and support circle could spend with him on the weekend. Um, yeah, so that was tricky, trying to trying to cover those hours over the weekend. Yeah. I think what also emerged, we sort of came to a realisation that some sort of a support coordinator role was required. A support coordinator who would sort of, yeah, sit in the background a bit more and, and just help coordinate the week, um, coordinate, you know, the times that people would be doing stuff and sort of pulling their strings, so to speak, um, rather than having to rely on a particular housemaid or a particular worker to sort of pick that stuff up and run with it. In mapping out the pattern of support that Adam needed, that was sort of critical in coming to the conclusion that we really needed to have three housemates because I think we were uncertain at that stage, Would we, could we just have one or two? And in looking at those patterns of support, we, we realised, no, we really need at least three people so that it's going to work.